All right, so now we have a, you know, kind of a part one of our dashboard. Uh, notice it's kind of static, nothing, no data changes, right? So I want to make this interactive. So what I'm going to do is head over to my revenue map, copy my state slicer, all right? You can actually adjust this, maybe make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to right click that guy, copy, head over to my dashboard, right click and paste. So I got my little slicer here. I'm going to shrink that a bit. Uh, let's make it a little wider, give it more height so no scroll bar. I'm going to drag this one right over here and align it with my chart. I can actually drag it to the right here. Perfect. All right. So now on my chart, uh, I can right click this slicer, report connections. Okay. So what I want to do is connect this uh, slicer to all my all my charts, right? So I can select pivot table, damage count, my product rating bar, my waterfall, my revenue history, and click on OK. Now what's nice and notice I can choose to see only the data in my charts. Now it becomes interactive for let's say California. So notice all my data changes here. Very nice, right? So shows California again. If you want to click on this informational X out, then it won't show up again. All right. Maybe I want to see California and Nevada. So I can hold the control key, click on Nevada, and notice it shows California and Nevada, minimum maximum of the revenue, and then shows again, it cuts my data in all the charts such that only uh, the, the, the corresponding states are displayed. Okay, so I'm going to control and show all the states again. Notice it's already, uh, things are moving around, so it's very interactive, right? And we don't have to pay any money for it, it's so all within Excel. Okay, so uh, very nice. Uh, now what I'm going to do is add the slicer for my revenue history. Okay, I have the breakdown in years and quarters. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste the quarters and years slicers. Right click, copy, head over to my dashboard, control V or paste. Now I can take each individual slicer, maybe move that around here. So I'll move the years here. Uh, readjust the width here, uh, reduce the height. Okay, perfect. I got. Uh, I don't want the scroll bar, so you can adjust. There we go. And then my quarters, I'm going to move that right about here below my years. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the height and adjust the width. So it lines up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then uh, finally. I'm going to click on, for example, pr this chart here. Now notice you can click on any chart, like here I'm clicking on the bar chart here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert. You'll see a slicer here and I'm going to choose product. Okay. Click on okay. And nice, I get my product filter here, right? So I can actually adjust that and let's zoom out a bit. Okay. I'm going to zoom out on my Excel. Okay, so I get my little slicer for my product, adjust the width. I'm going to move that below the quarters. Okay, adjust the height. So I get my hats, pants, shirts, shoes, and towels, right? Just the width here. And again, don't forget to right click all of your slicers, choose report connections. Make sure all your pivot tables or your charts are selected here so that way you can slice and dice uh, using this uh, using this interactive slicers uh, for against all your charts okay I'm gonna just to make sure right click all of my slicers go to report connections make sure they're all connected oh there we go they're not connected I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything okay same with the years click on report connections uh, click on all the different chart types Click on OK. Perfect. Now we have some sort of uh, dashboard here. Notice uh, I'm going to just uh, maximize this. Again, you can adjust uh, for your chart sizes, right? You can actually move these guys down if you like. Move these down here to the bottom so it lines up nicely. It's going to adjust this guy, the product, a little bit more width so they're li lined up nicely on the left side. Okay. And then this guy can actually increase my map. So I'm going to go ahead and Move that here and uh, adjust my map a little bit bigger. Perfect. Okay. Give this guy a little bit more width. 
here, and then I can move that, move this chart, adjust the size, and uh, again, feel free to play around with the dimensions here. I can move these charts. Okay, I'll move this a little bit down. Perfect. All right, I'll move this. Less width here. Same with this chart. Align it. And same with my bar chart. Align that. And notice we have a nice dashboard. Okay. Again, all my slice, all my slices are connected to all the charts. So, for example, I want to look at all the hats. Right. So, click on hats. All right. That were part of year 2021. Okay. So notice that uh, for all the states, right, I get my revenue for only hats. I get only the damage versus new of hats only. I get my, you know, my waterfall that tells me, all right, uh, about 23 hats were purchased through a mobile app, uh, 20 through a storefront, and 15 through a website, giving me a grand total of 58 for this year, 2021. And then I have my product rating as a function of only hats, right? And only this year, but all the quarters, okay? Again, if I wanted to choose only, let's say, Arizona, I can click on Arizona. And notice that everything adjusts. Notice Arizona, here's the revenue breakdown uh, over the quarters on the year 2021, okay? Um, and then it shows me, again, my waterfall. Notice it's the numbers are reduced, right? Because it's breaking it down by Arizona's only. Then I get my product rating as a function of uh, Arizona. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, so notice that uh, the numbers should line up. Notice that my rating, uh, I get a total of one plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. Notice my grand total here is seven. Very nice. Right. And then I get my quarter breakdown for only year 2021 uh, of quarters that do have data quarters that do have data okay perfect so that's how you put together this dashboard uh, with your slicers and filters okay again feel free to play around with your source data your slicers and dicers right your product categories and make sure uh, you know you choose the right background adjust the width and height right uh, clean up your dashboard now people who are consuming this will enjoy the interactive dashboard Imagine uh, your source data here on sheet one is tied to some database or some other web application, right? Where data is coming in in real time. So as long as your data is coming in real time, your dashboard is going to be constantly updated with more and more data, right? R real time live data. So it feels like it's a product, a standalone product, this Excel worksheet. Again, you can lock and hide all these sheets, keep only the dashboard, distribute it to your coworkers, your your product management, your, your executives, and your classmates, and they'll be able to visualize your data, uh, perform analytics, make predictions, and so on. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.